es horrible. I want to do a challenge where I clean five things in my house that I absolutely never clean. So I decided I'm gonna clean my oven. I'm gonna clean behind my TV stand. I'm gonna clean these two corners of my bedroom. And then I'm gonna clean the doors. Also, if it ends up being really fast, I'm going to probably do a little section of like a travel vlog. Cause I'm going to Lake Havasu. So I do need to pack today, but I don't think this will take me that long. Um, I have to pack for my son and myself, and then when my husband gets home, he'll pack for himself. Uh, it's just a weekend. We're going um, tomorrow morning, which is Saturday, and then coming back on Sunday night. So it won't be that big, so I don't have to pack that much, but just probably a backpack full of stuff. I've not played this in so long that it's like disgustingly dusty. I'm gonna clean my oven right now. This is horrible. all of the doors with a magic eraser. I'm gonna do literally every single door, so. The garage door is the worst because everybody comes in and out of there, but. like a regular diaper bag that we use but this one is just our old one and it's a little bit smaller so I'm just gonna put all of his clothes and like blankets and um, extra diapers and stuff in here
this is the last box of diapers that I was gifted at like my baby shower. So after this, we're gonna have to start buying our own. And that's crazy. I'm so blessed to have been able for this long to not have to buy any of my own diapers, but I know they're expensive, so I'm a little bit stressing out. Bring this, that's, I've got more in the regular diaper bag, but I know I'm not, he's not gonna go through this. I know, but if you're a mom, you know. You just can't be too sick. Okay, pajama. A blanket, a travel size shampoo and body wash, and a comb. I need to bring a warm outfit and a swimsuit. So I'm gonna bring these little shorts, jean shorts. This little Adidas. And then if that day is cold, I'll bring this jacket. Tomorrow I'm gonna have him wear this little outfit because it's just too cute. Like way too cute. So we're gonna have him wear that tomorrow. And then Sunday a hot outfit or cold outfit. I'm gonna have him wear this little total meltdown. Total meltdown in some jeans. We'll bring two pairs of socks. We'll bring like four bibs. A couple of rags. I'm gonna bring this extra shirt. It's for 12 months, but I honestly, I don't wanna buy a swimsuit because we don't have a pool. It's not gonna get used. So I'm just gonna bring this one. It's 12 months, he's nine right now. So I honestly think this will fit. And it's little dinos. And then I'm gonna bring these little shoes. Bring his little white. And then I, he has black ones too which I might bring those as well. Okay. Hot outfit, cold outfit, socks, bibs, towels, diapers, wipes. I think that's everything. And a blanket. Yeah. I think that's everything for this. Probably gonna throw in a bath toy or two, and then that's it. room and checked in and it is way nicer than I thought it was gonna be like way nicer so let me do a little tour for you you walk in first thing you see is the lake here's the bathroom the lighting incredible I'm so excited to do my makeup here tomorrow and then the shower is pretty darn nice pretty cool and this adjoining room is where my dad and my aunt are sleeping which is kind of cool because it it opens up right there too here's the bed and here is the rest of the room this is the view from the window You can walk right there and be right at the actual lake. It's sick. So pretty, it's incredible.
do my hair real quick and just catch you up on what happened um, on our trip because it was crazy. Um, so let me just start brushing my hair. I'm pretty much gonna be doing my hair in my phone camera. So if I'm looking at it, that's why. Beginning of the trip, we drove to my cousin's Airbnb first and stayed there for a little while. And then my husband, dad, and I drove to our hotel because I accidentally booked it across the lake, um, which was really stupid, but I'm not good with directions and I don't know why anybody let me book the hotel. <laughs> Anyways, so I booked it across the lake like a dummy. And so we had to drive like an hour and a half around the lake to get to the other side where our hotel was. And so we go to our hotel, we're there for a little while, gambled a little bit, um, and lost like 20 bucks. And then we were supposed to get on a ferry and we asked guest services how it was gonna, um, or how often they came. And he told us every 30 minutes. So we're like, okay, perfect. We'll gamble for a little bit and then I'll run up and grab my dad and then we'll go on the ferry and go. He was saying every 30 minutes, the ferry stops. Like the ferry gets at ours at 30 minutes, then gets to the other point in 30 minutes, and then comes back in 30 minutes. So over here, you're really waiting an hour. It makes sense afterwards, but the way he worded it was like, I felt like an idiot. Anyway, so my husband runs up because he forgot his glasses in the hotel room. We literally missed it by like half a second. The guy wouldn't wait, which is, it's understandable. They have a schedule to be doing and it's not up to them to wait for us. We miss it. And so we're waiting uh, what we think is 30 minutes. So we're just waiting outside. And then when 30 minutes came, we're like, oh my God, like they're not coming every 30 minutes. They're coming every hour. So my husband and dad went in and got a drink and I stayed outside with my son. And then um, we went back to my cousins and just kind of had like a day there. The next day we decided to actually go to the lake, like the beach side part of the lake. And this is where things start to really go downhill because we already missed the ferry. Oh, and then uh, the night before we went back and gambled and I actually won, which I never had before in my whole life. So that was awesome. It's exciting because I never win, okay? I've always just lost and it was like fun to go to a casino, win a little bit and then like leave. So that was cool. But yeah, then the next day we went to the actual lake and <sighs> my dad has an inflatable kayak and he is very good on it because he goes and practices every once in a while. And my husband decided to ride in the kayak. And that was a just disaster. It was horrible because he flipped over and he was trying to swim back with the kayak, but the kayak was like fighting against him pretty much and he pretty much lost all of his breath and almost died, which was insane. And like, so scary, so terrifying. And then pretty much these lifeguard guys, really they were the ones like renting out paddle boards and like jet skis and stuff like that. They went out on their jet ski and got him because he was like calling for help, which was horrible. Um, and they got him, so that wasn't, you know, but it just could have been the worst day of my life. And we would have been standing there watching and not being able to do anything. He was out there and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go rent a paddleboard and try and get him, but I don't know how to paddleboard. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Instead of like running and getting help, I was like, I'm gonna rent a paddleboard and go out there and save him. Just like your brain, it's crazy how when situations like that happen, your brain automatically just like freezes. And it's horrible because you're not supposed to panic. Like you're supposed to try and think logically, but like you can't. 
So it was just horrible. Anyways, they got him. We came back and everyone is all right and everyone is doing good. And I'm thankful, you know, that it didn't become the worst trip that I've ever taken. Because other than that, literally, <laughs> the whole trip was really, really nice. Like we ate in the morning at like a lakeside restaurant that was right downstairs because our hotel was a casino and a uh, resort, a casino and a resort, and they were right on the lake, which you saw in the clip, which was awesome. It was so cool. So yeah, that was pretty much the whole trip. And I finished my hair way faster than I thought. It's probably not cute at all, but I don't care. I'm just trying to put it up real quick. That was my trip. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna tidy up a little bit here, like a quick tidy after my trip, because this was mostly supposed to be a cleaning vlog. Because the trip wasn't enough footage for me to make a whole video just the trip. So I was like, I'm just gonna put it in with my five cleanings. So I'm just gonna tidy everything right now and yeah.